Hi, there's a simple, easy, often overlooked way that you can help your dog when it comes to fireworks and thunderstorms. Couldn't be more important in the summer, especially in the US, when these things come up suddenly, unexpectedly, and they can cause terror in your dog. Sometimes though, your dog isn't just terrified, they might be overexcited or they're just annoyed by the noise. So that can cause problems for sure. Your dog can go into a panic attack, they can start to pee and poop and bark and destroy things, and it can be a problem for everybody. I'm Dr. Carolyn Lincoln with Play to Behave, and you can learn more about me at playtobehave.com. As a veterinarian, I can tell you there are many ways that you can help your dog. You can use anxiety wraps or pheromones, maybe supplements, medications. There's long-term ones, short-term ones. But one, as I said, simple, easy way that's often overlooked that you can really make a difference is by how you react to your dog. It's easy for us to start laughing when our puppies are young and they start to get overexcited or crazed about what they're hearing. It's easy to laugh, but that can just encourage them and confuse them more because they might really truly be scared. And if someone's laughing at you, that doesn't help. So it's hard not to react that way, so I get it but try not to. The second thing is, is we try to coddle our dogs or tell them it's going to be okay. Think about how you feel when you go to the dentist or the doctor or somewhere where you're worried or scared about what might happen. And someone's next to you saying, it's okay, it's okay. They're rubbing your back and rubbing your back and going, it's okay. And they're hugging you hard. How does that feel? It isn't really as calming as it could be. Instead, if they just put their hand on your shoulder firmly or on your back, kept it there, maybe moved it just a tiny bit and said, it's going to be okay. I'm right here with you. And that's all they said. That's much more calming. And you feel better. You can do that with your dog. Please try not to coddle your dog, to tell him it's okay, it's okay. It's going to be okay. Come here, get on my lap. I'm, be, I'm right here. I'm right here, and I know you mean well. You just want to help your dog. But sadly, they think you're worried because they don't really understand, and then they're worried. So instead, just putting your hand on your dog or sitting next to them and just saying it's all right. It's going to be okay. When you put your hand on them, that's fine. The other thing you can do is sort of laugh at the storm, not at your dog, but you kind of enjoying the storm together. And that's what I just did with my dog, Ray. She's four years old and she started to get annoyed by the noise. She wasn't afraid. You can tell the difference because a dog that's afraid is trembling and maybe hiding in a corner or hiding under a table, as opposed to a dog that's running around barking and looking everywhere like, I'm gonna stop this if I have to stop this. You know, like they're like, stop already. Um, or they think they need to protect you. That's a different dog. And in that dog, you kind of say together, you experience it together and just say, hey, it's okay. I li Did you hear that? That's really cool. And sort of enjoy it together. So there is a difference. You don't want to yell at your dog and tell them to stop barking because they're trying to express how they feel. You don't want to um, over coddle them, tell them it's going to be, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, because then you're going to get them to worry, right? You just want to let them know, I'm here if you need me, if they're scared. And if they're annoyed, you're going to let them know that this is something you can enjoy together and there's no need to bark. This takes time. And you might still need some supplements or medications or other measures to help your dog. But definitely the way you react is going to make a difference. And you know your dog better than anybody else. So the way that you react might be slightly different than I'm suggesting. Do what you think is best. Use your gut feeling. Get to know your dog. But make sure that you don't make it worse, <laughs> especially if they're young. I'm Dr. Carolyn Lincoln with Play to Behave. Thanks for joining me today. I hope everybody has a wonderful summer and you get to enjoy all the festivities and even enjoy those thunderstorms and lightning when they're not dangerous, of course, because they can be something to enjoy.
Enjoy them with your dog. Please scroll down, leave a comment for me. Let me know how your dog is doing during the thunderstorms and fireworks this summer. Thanks for joining me today. Happy training.